Hi everyone, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this little explanation video um, for why I decided to start having my own Human Hair Wigs label. So the label is called Kay's Wigs. So for everyone um, who is new, um, I have been wearing wigs for about three and a bit years now. And uh, that's due to the fact that I have thinning hair and receding hairline um, to the point where it just, you know, got really <laughs> devastating to go in the shower because this is seemed like where the hair fell out the most. Um, so I started to wear wigs um, and I mainly wore synthetic wigs. And in the last year and a half or so, I decided to look into human hair wigs and I got really frustrated um, with human hair wigs because I have quite <laughs> a few requirements for my wigs where that make me feel comfortable wearing it and a lot of synthetic synthetic wigs do tick that box but I haven't really found human hair wigs that tick all my boxes um, so I was after um, a very natural hairline, so pre-plug that I didn't have to do any work with. A very natural part, um, bleached knots, which is part of having the natural hairline. One of the biggest thing for me, it had to be glueless. Um, also a big factor for me was that I wanted a comfortable cap. A lot of times I came across, you know, beautiful human hair wigs, but the cap construction just didn't work for me. It was just like, sometimes it was like one size fits all. And on my 21.5 inch circumference, it just felt really bulky and uncomfortable to wear. So I tried the really expensive ones, which I got in the clearing sections because I couldn't afford a 2000 pound wig. I just can't, it's just not <laughs> something I can afford, but I found it in a clearance section um, so I tried these and I was really disappointed with them um, because they just didn't look natural. And I had to do a lot of work with them to make them look realistic. And I just thought, no, it's not good enough. Um, and I tried really cheap ones um, and the color just looked really just cheap. <laughs> so another point was I wanted really beautiful colors. Um, and I wanted it all for an affordable price. So I found bits and bobs of it from different um, manufacturers and wig makers. And don't get me wrong, they are beautiful, very natural looking human hair wigs out there, but I simply cannot afford them. Um, so I wanted to find something that has had all of this, <laughs> plus something I then can offer to a think a more affordable price. Um, I'm not saying that my prices are cheap, <laughs> they certainly aren't for some people, but they are cheaper than others that I have come across. And I will talk about three of, of the ones I offer um, in a minute and I'll show you and um, I give you the prices etc as well so you get an idea of what you're looking at in terms of price range. So that's why I decided to start my own little wig business. Um, I hope that there are other people who have the same criteria or had the same frustrations and that you find something here that is right for you. I'm not saying this is for everyone either. It's just what worked for me and I thought I, I try and offer it to whoever <laughs> has some you know, had the same frustrations as I had. Okay. Um, so this is one of them. Um, this is called Montgomery. And this is not straight out of the box. I put some um, waves in, some mermaid waves. This is a 20 inch wig. I'll show it from both sides whilst I'm here. So it does come a little bit wavy and I put a picture up here from what it looked like straight out of the box. All you have to do is um, cut the lace and with this one it is pretty much straight out of the box wearable. Um, 
but please bear in mind these are all custom made items so the color might vary ever so slightly how it comes in the box <laughs> how it comes out of the box might vary slightly and it might human fabrics always need a bit of styling so don't expect it to work like a synthetic wig but at least with this one i didn't have to do much to it so i show you the hairline so i have cut the lace this is hd transparent lace and look at this hairline i didn't do anything to this hairline this is how it comes you have a great part that looks very natural and the sides look very natural as well you can part it at the top wherever you like so you have that very natural scalp appearance so this is as i said uh, montgomery 20 inches this is indian virgin hair so indian virgin hair is cheaper than brazilian virgin hair you can get the same one in brazilian hair as well which will be a little bit more expensive so this one um with exactly as it is so virgin hair uh, 20 inches 150 uh, percent density show you the cap in a minute that's a 13 uh, by 6 lace cap hd lace front is 499 pounds plus postage um the same one if you wanted that with brazilian hair but on an 18 inch would cost you uh, 599 pounds plus shipping so uh, that's the cheapest i could make it <laughs> i show you the cap they are all the same um there are customizations are possible you can have um different customizations um not all the combinations are possible uh but some are so you could have a five by five cap construction or you could have um, a shorter length etc so obviously that would be a bit a little bit cheaper as well so the cap they all look the same so you have that 13 by 6 as you can see i have cut the lace you don't have any ear taps covered wefts then you have hook adjusters a big comb and it does come with an elastic band that is easy to put in i don't like these personally that's why i like that you can have them take them out easily they just hook in so really handy for those who like these kind of um, adjusters for that extra bit of secure this is a small cap and on my 21.5 inch circumference it fits perfectly there is no gapping and i have it on the widest setting so if you have a smaller head size than mine a small would go a long way as i said it's on the widest setting they do offer extra small caps but again we might have to see which particular styles they actually offer them in but that is an option but as i said with the 21.5 inch circumference on the widest setting the small cap fits amazing i don't need have i don't need to have any glue so you can also see it has a bit of this kind of um baby hair if you don't like that, if you think this looks a bit funny, you can always pluck that up. But anyway, so here on this particular piece, I cut the lace exactly where the hairline is. So here, if you don't have bio hair and you want to have it, have it like this, you would then need to glue this bit on. If, like me, you have bio hair, which I've done with the other ones, I cut all of this straight out. So it then left me with my own bio hair, like this, that I just need to paint. <laughs> and then I don't need any glue at all. But as I said, if you want to have this kind of hairline here, for whatever reason, because if you want to tuck it, it will flip up. So you will need to have that glued down. So 
This is Montgomery cut the lace cut according to the hairline. The Thank next you. one, which is Diana. This is Brazilian hair, 20 inches. And I will put the price for this one on here. So, again, not straight out of the box. I added some mermaid waves to it. And what I've done here, as you can see, there's just a little bit of flip here because I cut the lace all the way back. So here on this one, I personally don't think I need any glue. I also wear glasses, so <laughs> it keeps this down. Again, if you think you want, if you want not this flipping up, you can just add some big tape to it if you wanted to. But if you wear it like this, I don't use any glue on this. So this is Diana. This is Brazilian hair. So if you're wondering what the difference is between Brazilian hair and Indian hair, um, Indian hair is lighter and finer in, in denier. So, um, and Brazilian hair is a little bit thicker, if you like. Um, it, therefore, Brazilian hair, therefore, doesn't really tangle much. Um, I found that the Indian hair is lighter, has a bit more of a European type of denier and feel to it, but it does tangle a little bit more. Not, not much at all, really. But that's, I think, for me, the main difference. The other difference is that Brazilian um, hair can be um, bleached to a blonde, whilst um, the Indian hair mainly comes in the darker colors. So it's up to you if you want Brazilian hair or if you want um, the Indian hair. I think Brazilian is just a little bit more luxurious. <laughs> um, but I think lifespan wise, both are fairly equal. I think it's always about looking after your hair. I tend to use after almost each wear, I tend to use um, some Mar Moroccan oil um, just to put it through the hair at the end, just to give it that little bit of moisture, etc. So that's Diana. So same thing, really nice parting hairline. Gorgeous. really pretty piece. And now I want to show you a blonde one that a lot of people just loved. That's a Lucy. This one has been in the box for a bit, but I want to show you her anyway. She is beautiful. She is also a 20 inch Brazilian hair. Same cup construction. Um, but I have cut her a little bit and put in a little bit of layers at the front. So this is Lucy. Show you the hairline. With Lucy, I have cut back the lace quite a bit. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like when you cut it away. So on the other one where it comes naturally it goes down here which I cut away. So for me it it makes the sideburn more visible which I think gives it a natural look but as I said it does come with a sideburn look um, if you don't have hair there and I don't have to glue it on there for. So you can see it's really sitting lovely and tight. I wore this one when I met a friend who I haven't seen for like five years or something and she had no idea I was wearing a wig. No idea. She was like, oh, blonde, oh, that looks nice. I'm like, mm, yeah, thank you. And I was like, oh, I said, oh, it's a wig. And she was like, what? 
no, you know, like, yep. Yeah. So, and so you wouldn't be able to tell. So that's always nice to hear that kind of feedback. So as I said, this is Lucy. She only comes in Brazilian hair and the price is on here. Um, yeah, so I hope this gave you a bit, a little bit of an insight of what my wigs are all about. Um, I would love to have some feedback. So comment below or if you don't want to do it publicly or have any other inquiries or want to order, <laughs> uh, you can do it either on my Instagram at kwesweeks, uh, DM me there, or you can use my email address, which is kaysluxwigs at hotoutlook.com. Um, it doesn't let me do the at for some reason <laughs> on here, so who knows why. I uh, would love to have some feedback. Um, I haven't got, uh, set up a website yet. What I thought of doing is start up a different Instagram account. I just haven't got the money to to host a website. I just, it's not, <laughs> it's just not there. But hopefully um, in the future, if it does go well, I would love to set up a website with payment options and everything um, as well. So payment option wise at the moment is PayPal and bank transfer. So hopefully I can add, uh, add card payments and all of that at a later stage but it's I'm in the infant stage <laughs> um, and I just really want some feedback to be nice to have some orders and hopefully then some feedback on how you feel about it. I also want to show you um, this is the box it will come in with my little sticker and then it will come packaged with some tissue paper with obviously a net with a large plastic bag and all of that will be in a satin bag which is also usable as a pillowcase <laughs> so i thought why not have dual purpose there so thank you very much for your time and as i said please comment below your feedback I would be gratefully receiving that. Have a lovely, lovely day. And if you like this as well, please like and subscribe. And I hope I see you soon. And I hope I hear from you soon. Bye.